We are a change with host Howard Nima. Exposing the collectivist global elite's Malthusian quest for a new world order. A one world dictatorial government where all aspects of human life are under their control. Truth Talk Radio. Where news the mainstream media ignores is the top story and your voice is heard. We are change. Fridays from 1 to 3 p.m. and Saturdays from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hosted by Howard Nima. Only on informedradio.com. That's N-F-O-R-M-D radio.com. Tune in, call in. We must be the change we wish to see in the world. We are change with Howard Nima. Every Friday, 1 to 3 p.m. and every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on nformdradio.com. That's We Are Change with Howard Nemo. Fridays, 1 to 3 p.m. and Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on nformedradio.com. A lot of events this week uh, here in Connecticut, at least. The uh, whole state's pretty much out of... Uh power. Most of it's restored or they claim it'll all be restored by Sunday, which is of course causing a lot of controversy because people don't believe that's going to happen due to certain conditions and the typical uh, bureaucratic red tape. We do have the uh, National Guard uh, helping out, actually clearing roads, uh, actually doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, so We'll see what happens with that, but uh, fortunately, uh, I got power back, uh, but I, I, I wasn't able to do yesterday's show, but now I got power, and uh, here in the northwest uh, corner of Connecticut, uh, things are going, looking pretty good, but things aren't looking pretty good uh, elsewhere, uh, like in Iran. Things are looking pretty, pretty scary, actually. Um, they exposed some uh, data, or they're going to expose some data about uh, U.S. terror plots, you know, probably CIA type stuff that they have evidence on. That's just uh, bringing us closer to, uh, to war, unfortunately. Yeah, Secretary of Iran, Supreme National Security Council, Salih Jalili, will release a number of documents detailing U.S. involvement in acts of terror against the Islamic Republic. Jalili is reportedly uh, set to make the revelations on U.S. terror moves against Iran on Friday during a ceremony marking the takeover anniversary of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran by Iranian students in 1979. That was yesterday, so looks as though that was uh, probably released. Uh, revelations come a day after the leader of the Islamic Revolution, Ayatollah Saeed Ali Khamenei, described the U.S. as the great terrorist of the world. Uh, I hate to say it, but, uh, you know, we always are out there preaching peace and liberty and freedom and helping people and humanitarian aid and assistance, and we are extremely complicit in the, in the, in the same evil that we're supposedly fighting against or really creating. It's, again, this Hegelian dialectic. I speak about it every show um, because our governments are just so intertwined with these... Uh, uh, globalist uh, international corporations and their owners and, and their interests and their own uh, greed and uh, we're now going into war again uh, the, it is a twilight zone world we live in I mean the Obama Peace Prize winning president who has now more more uh, uh, soldiers deployed in uh, more places than uh, any president before him uh, moves the ch uh, shell game with the troops moving around it's just unbelievable and of course this moves on because now Israel Israel is now having uh, they're testing missiles and fuel uh, and it fuels talk of plans to strike uh, Iran's nuclear sites now this last uh, article was from press TV from November 3rd I just don't want to forget to mention uh, my sources and this is from uh, Donald McIntyre at the Independent uh, November 3rd Israel yesterday test fired a ballistic missile believed to be long range and capable of reaching Iran. Yes, we know this. Uh, defense officials gave few details of the launch, but Defense Minister Ayoud Barak said it was an impressive technological development. The successful experiment proves again that the engineers, technicians, and staff of Israeli's defense industry are of the highest level. Good propaganda to try to scare the Iranians. All right. Well, 
it looks pretty bad, but I think the war with Iran has actually begun. And uh, this is an article from Julian Borger at uh, The Guardian. War with Iran has already begun in secret. The covert war on Iran's nuclear program was launched in earnest by George Bush in 2007. It is a fair assumption that the Western powers had been trying their best to spy on the Islamic Republic since the 1979 Iranian Revolution. But the 2007 presidential finding put those efforts on a new footing. Bush asked Congress to approve $400 million for program support uh, for rebel ethnic groups as well as intelligence gathering <laughs> and sabotage of the nuclear program. Part of that effort uh, involves uh, slipping defective parts such as centrifuge components into the black market supply to Iran designed to blow Germany, uh, France, and Israel, uh, excuse me, blow apart while in operation uh, and then so uh, bringing down all the centrifuges in the vicinity. The UK, Germany, fr uh, France, and Israel are said to have been all involved in similar eff efforts. Incredible, yeah. Well, this is what I've been talking about. See, these governments work in concert uh, and, and they say that, you know, it's, it's just uh, absurd. I, I mean, there are obviously evil people of all, um, you know, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, there are good Muslims, there are bad Muslims, there are good Christians, there are bad Christians. What, this religion junk is nonsense. The fact of the matter is that for some reason Americans are brainwashed or Westerners are brainwashed to believe that that our intentions are, you know, like the, you know, we are like this, these pious, this pious country, this pious, uh, you know, society that we're above, you know, that we're, you know, we're, you know, we're civilized or something, and, and we're, and it's just horrendous because it's not true. Uh, all of these wars are going to lead to more death, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the new world order is is tightening in on it on its aims. Uh, I have a lot of news. I'm going to be covering a lot of sources. I shouldn't have just went into it. I'm going to be speaking about Iran and Israel here, uh, and their, Iran's nuclear program. And then as we as we move forward, I'm going to be talking about the rising police state here in the United States, the things that are happening in New York City and uh, around the country. Also about um, the deportations and uh, the border fights, which is really strange how, how they're actually doing this system now, who they actually are deporting. Uh, for, uh, from the illegal aliens. Uh, very interesting. And then, of course, uh, Obama's in information about the health care and, and uh, other problems with uh, cancer and just the financial crisis, uh, the drugs, the uh, pharmaceutical industry. So we're going to have a nice little uh, conversation here. And uh, join us. Uh, c call us in, 772-905-3018. Um, going to be here till 5 p.m. Be taking a break probably in a, uh, somewhere around the top of the hour. Um, I have a couple of interesting pieces to, to play for you, uh, which I usually do in the middle break. And uh, I think that it's, uh, it's fair to say that uh, things are moving into a dangerous position, but nobody is uh, highlighting how dangerous it is. So again, this is where the news, the mainstream media ignores is the top story, uh, and, and, uh, and your voice is heard. So call us, 772-905-3018 or uh, add us on Skype, Enformed Radio, and of course we're at enformedradio.com. Uh, call out to Truth War, who is uh, the uh, transmissioner sending out our message of truth um, at the headquarters there in cyberspace. Thank you again, Truth, for all your efforts and all your work. Uh, you're really tremendous, a uh, tremendous asset to the to the movement, and. Um, Moving on, of course we have uh, this situation now with Iran, and if you look at the if you look at the map, like I actually have a map here. I mean, obviously you can't look at on radio, but I filmed uh, I do film these things, and there is actually you could just see how this how this whole thing has set itself up with Iraq and Afghanistan. Um, after all, I mean, what is in between Iraq and Afghanistan? I mean, it's just you don't have to really even use rocket science, a, a, a child would say, oh, well, yeah, if they were playing risk, what would you, what would you be your next uh, place to conquer, you know? So, again, it's this imperialism masked in humanitarian assistance and the evil ones, they can't get nuclear weapons because they will blow up the world. Well, you see, the mutually assured destruction is, um, is, is, what, is what's there. I mean, that's why we haven't blown ourselves up yet. Um, so you're saying that, or folks are saying, 
some people that if they have this nuclear device, that somehow this nuclear uh, capability, they're going to use it against Israel, they're going to use it against all these other countries that will blow them off the face of the earth uh, before the missiles uh, come down from the sky uh, that they shoot at Israel if they could possibly do it. Or what? That they're going to use it for terrorism? That they're going to uh, make small bombs like, you know, like the ones that the, uh, like, <laughs> like the CIA have in the briefcases, the little briefcase nukes that, can, that they've used, possibly uh, at Ground Zero? Hmm. Well, anyway, I don't know. That's speculation, I agree. However, we definitely know that uh, they're not out to kill anybody. They're out to protect their interests. Because he says he wants to wipe Israel off the face of the earth uh, is taken out of terms. That's like just saying uh, it's not a literal t sense. Um, the Palestinians, if they were to get their state, which of course this is all moving away from, the globalists are totally opposed to the Palestinian state, uh, even though they work through the controlled opposition saying the UN wants it and, and Israel's against it. and it's all, it's all a farce to confuse the situation. Uh, the real situation is that Israel, um, it, all the land they took and the way they took it is just ridiculous, and the, and the propaganda, and they're, they're so very, very... Um, treat the uh, Palestinian people terribly. I mean, it's, it's just horrible. Uh, it is a totalitarian country. Uh, not if you're an Israeli, you know, obviously. Uh, and, you know, it's just a very, very bad situation that the, the West doesn't see how, how it really is. And if you investigate, it's just horrific what you see that goes on there on a daily basis. And they blame it on Hamas, who was founded by Mossad, the Israeli intelligence, in 1973 to create controlled opposition. So, wake up everybody. Hamas is, uh, again, controlled opposition. They, they, this is all, this is constant war. It's always going to be constant war. Uh, they have infiltrated, Al-Qaeda is now running Libya, and Al-Qaeda, of course, uh, al Qaeda created by the CIA in 1984, uh, Osama bin Laden. Uh, with the Taliban and all those those animals back then that were fighting uh, against uh, the Soviets. This is all on record, but nobody looks there and nobody ties the dots together and says, oh, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, well, yeah, well, that's, that's, those are the connections. That's what people have to look at. Um, so, yes, uh, we sort of already are at war, obviously. We've, we took out Iran's, uh, the Stucknecks uh, virus took out Iran's... Uh, capability last time, that's certainly, uh, absolutely, in, uh, in my opinion, uh, orchestrated completely through the, uh, the, the United States and Israel, okay? So there is, uh, there is a control here, and they're going for it, and it is a big game of risk that is real with real lives, not little pieces on a, on a game board. And they love to play it, and they will gamble and use your life, um, and... God help you if you uh, oppose them, because then you're going to be you're unpatriotic or you're you're with the terrorists, like Bush always said. Here, tyranny that's done in the name of uh, freedom and liberty is the worst kind, and that's what we're under here. Uh, we have to get out of these wars. We have to stop. Um, we'll close all these bases for our quote unquote national security interests to secure what our corporate interests in other countries. Our corporations have destroyed America by outsourcing all their labor and manufacturing. That is what our corporations have done to us. Anyway, so war with Iran, right down the pike. Um, and they're ready for it. Tehran vows to retaliate if Israel and the West attack nuclear plants. Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Salehi spoke on a visit to Libyan city of Benghazi, and he warned that the West would be punished if it seeks a collision course. Well, that's where we're going. We're going down this road because they are going to do a preemptive strike. Netanyahu is planning a preemptive strike of, uh, of Iran, and backed by Obama, and Obama's behind him. It's incredible, but it's true. 